You know that I love going to Dollar Tree, and you know that I love crafting with items from Dollar Tree. The summer season is a perfect time if you are not a crafter to start crafting. Each aisle is filled with tons of possibilities with items that you can use for crafting. And on today's video, I'm gonna show you 20 items you should be buying this summer season, including these flip-flops. Every summer season, they have an entire section filled with colorful, beautiful flip-flops like these I used on this beautiful wreath, perfect for summer. I also use these striped ones to create a welcome sign. I tilted them, I placed them on a base, and then I roped them into a beautiful welcome sign that I think is just absolutely gorgeous. Make sure that next time you're at Dollar Tree, you grab several of the flip-flops, whether they're adult size or youth size, like these beautiful ones, you'll love using them for crafting. The next one is a hula hoop. Every season they have them and I cannot wait to show you what I did. I used a piece of pool noodle and some flat dials to create a beautiful wheel for summer. I hot glued them inside of the pool noodle and then I'm just going to mark, cut, and hot glue until everything is in place. And then I took it outside. I gave it a couple of coats of this rust white spray paint and then I brought it inside and I painted the center in a beautiful agave color by Waverly. I'm gonna use another piece of the pool noodle, open it in one side, and then slide it on one side of the wheel. This is gonna be a nice place where we can put some greenery in. You can use any greenery you want. Once you have all the greenery you want in place, just cover up the center with some ribbon. Whatever you have on hand is fine. Hot glue it in place and look how beautiful this wheel turned out. Item number three are their wreath forms. Summer wire wreath forms are beautiful. This fishtail one I got and I recently did a DIY with it. I painted it in a agave color. I spray painted it to seal everything. And then I grabbed item number four, which is this burlap rolls that I recently found. They are gorgeous. I'm gonna place this one that has a scale look right in the back of the fishtail. I thought I can hot glue it, but I ended up just using flexible wire, tying them all around in different areas until it was nicely placed inside. I cut off all the little wires that are sticking out and the excess fabric from the ends, leaving about an eighth of an inch. I made a bundle of florals using florals from Dollar Tree and I wired it shut into the inside of the wreath. I added some moss and then I'm gonna add it the item number five is these beautiful decor items you can find at the Dollar Tree and look how gorgeous it is. For the next DIY craft, I took two love signs from Dollar Tree, removed everything from it, and then attached them using popsicle sticks. I lightened everything up with one coat of Waverly Chalk Paint in the white, and then I'm going to spray adhesive one other of those fabric from Dollar Tree. Oh, they're gorgeous. I'm gonna stencil this home sign right on top, leaving the O unstenciled, because item number six is these beautiful sand dollars. They have these as well as other ones that you can use for crafting. I'm just gonna hot glue it right in place of the O, right in top. I'm then going to line the edge with some white nautical row from Dollar Tree, and look how beautiful this turned out. So easy. Item number seven are their vinyls. I create creations all the time using Dollar Tree vinyl. This one I made during the spring season. I'm just gonna remove all of these items from this love sign from Valentine's season. Going to give it one coat of the Waverly chalk paint, and then place the pink vinyl right over it making sure that there are no bubbles. I sanded down the edges to make sure that I'm removing the excess for a smooth finish. This welcome bike sign is also from Dollar Tree. I removed the welcome portion, marked where I needed to make a couple of holes, and then using flexible wire once again, I'm gonna secure it in place. I made a little floral swag to place on top, secured it with some jute string, and hot glue it to the top. I whitened the little hole and added some of this teal burlap ribbon, and I think it turned out gorgeous. What do you think? Item number eight are the calendars. Believe it or not, you can still find these at Dollar Tree. This beautiful beachy kind is perfect for crafting for summer. I have this little tiny one that came with it and I'm gonna pull several of them, specifically four, to place on top of these wood slices. I want ones that have sunsets. So I'm just gonna place them right on top and I'm just gonna press down until I can see a mark and then cut off the excess. We're gonna Mod Podge them in place I'm gonna add a thin layer of Mod Podge, place the paper right on top, remove any bubbles that I may see, and then once dry, add another layer of Mod Podge to make sure it is safe from any moisture. Look how beautiful these look. So easy and so inexpensive. 
Item number nine are these hanging shelves. You can find these at Dollar Tree year round. And I took three of them. I filled in the hole with some wood filler. And then I'm gonna place them round on top of each other, staggered in size, and mark where I need to cut. Once I made the cuts, I'm gonna paint the larger one in a beautiful dark blue, the medium sized one in a white, and then the smaller one in a white and red stripes. We're gonna make a beautiful decor that looks like firecrackers for 4th of July. Once I had the stripes nicely made, I'm gonna let everything dry, and then I'm just gonna sand down the edges just for a little bit more of a distressed look. Using my Cricut, I cut off some stars, and I'm just gonna place them all around the blue one. I placed some of this wired jute string, taped it to the back of each, and then I'm gonna use a two-sided tape to make sure that they are all stuck together nicely. The blue one, then the white one on top, and then the striped one on top of all three. Then I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm just gonna curl the wire jute string so it has a nice detail. Look how cute this looks. Item number 10 are my favorite and these are the garden fences. I have made it so many crafts, but I'm gonna show you how I use them for this one. I grabbed one of the sections, cut it off, make sure that it was smooth and added another one of those little hanging shelves to it, hot gluing it. I grabbed four of the sticks that came with the garden fences, hot glued them to the bottom of the chair and gave everything a fresh coat of white paint. I'm gonna take one of these rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree and place it right on the top of the chair. I made a little bundle of florals, attached it with some jute rope, and then I'm gonna attach it to the back of the chair. And look how cute this looks. Item number 11 are these tiles. I love these, these are peel and stick tiles. And I used it by taking this wood round. You can use any wood round you have on hand. I am going to give this one a couple of coats of white paint. And then I'm gonna use the one that has the butterfly on it. So I'm just gonna place it right on top, right after everything was dry. You just peel it off and place it right in the center. So easy. I'm gonna make a floral arrangement for it with colors that really complement the sticker really well. Tie it in the center with some white jute string, and then I'm gonna staple it in place. I'm gonna add a vibrant yellow sunflower right to the center. That way it brings some pop of color and some more white jute string to be able to hang it. And look how gorgeous this is. Item number 12 are rub-on transfers. You just saw me use one in a chair, but I'm gonna show you how you can use them in this wood round. This wood round is from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna place a couple of pieces of tape and then paint the middle bar in a white, and then the, the top portion is gonna be in this beautiful bare mint green. For the bottom portion, I'm gonna use this beautiful rub-on transfer from Dollar Tree. I'm going to fold it in half, make a cut, and then I'm going to transfer them to the bottom of it. It's really easy guys. You just really want to rub on it and lift as you go. And if you need to just place it back down and rub again, you can. I'm going to do that for both of them. And then I'm going to take a sticker from Dollar Tree. You find these all the time at Dollar Tree as well. And it is item 13. All these decals are so fun to craft with. I had one, this one left over from a previous project and I'm going to use the belief portion right in the center of the wood round. I added some rope to be able to hang it, and now I'm gonna add some greenery. I'm just gonna hot glue it to the top, adding some texture, some color, and some freshness. I am going to add this pink little flower to complement the design on the bottom, and look how cute this turned out. What do you think of this one? Item number 14 is wood rounds. We just used one, and I'm gonna show you what I did with this one very recently using also flip flops. I'm gonna start with some yellow on the bottom on the top and then a different tone of yellow. And I'm gonna create an ombre look, just a very colorful sunset style design. I'm just gonna keep adding color as needed, including a beautiful blue to just mimic the sky or the ocean. Once it was completely dry, I created a decal using my Cricut that says life is better in flip-flops. And then I added this cute little youth size flip-flops with some hot glue to the left side. I added some faux knots with nautical rope from Dollar Tree to the front and some rope to the back to be able to hang it. And look how beautiful this turned out. Love it. Item number 15 are these beautiful wood stems you can find year round at Dollar Tree. Perfect for summer crafting. I'm gonna take this mason jar. I don't know if it fits from Dollar Tree. I think I already had it on hand. And then some of those stems that I found at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna paint them. Some of them I'm gonna leave natural and some I'm gonna do white and then blue. I'm just gonna start placing them like driftwood from the lake or the ocean, and then some seashells right inside of it to make sure that it just had texture and color. 
Now I'm going to add one of these string lights that you can get on Amazon and I do have them on my Amazon store and I'm just going to thread them right inside. And then I'm going to take some of this net that I had on hand. I got this from burletfabric.com. I'm just going to tie it all the way around with some jute string and then I'm going to cut off the excess so that it is nice and trimmed. Look how beautiful this looks and at night it looks gorgeous. Item number 16 are stickers. I love crafting with Dollar Tree stickers. They're such good quality and really a good variety. I'm going to take these flower ones and I'm just going to give them all one coat of white chalk bin. And then I'm going to take different colors of teals and I'm just going to paint one row in every tone that I just have on hand. I love how they complement each other. Then I'm just going to place them on this glass jar. It's a vase from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to start placing them in a pattern that just looks nice and natural to the jar. I think this turned out so beautiful. You can leave it just like this or add flowers. Item number 17 are these nautical ropes from Dollar Tree. You can find them during this summer season and they have a beautiful double tone look. This wreath form I thrifted a while back. I'm going to take three of the ropes and I'm going to braid them all the way down, holding it in place with some masking tape. Then I'm going to place it on the wreath by hot gluing it, making sure that I leave like a curve so that it's not just straight across the wreath form. And then item number 18 are these beautiful wood blanks that you can find with all sorts of summer theme style. I'm going to take an anchor one and these beautiful little tiny turtles and I'm going to paint them white. Then I am going to take some antiquing wax and I'm just going to distress the edges just a little bit to create contrast of the white. I'm going to do the same thing on the turtles and then we're going to place some of these greenery onto the wreath form just to kind of mimic some seaweed. I'm going to place them here and there and then I'm going to hot glue that anchor right on top. Now I'm going to place the little turtles on the rope here and there just to add a little bit of texture and style and then add some more of the greenery and look how cute this looks. I love it. Item number 19 are the beautiful summer signs you can find already made. You can leave a messes or you can use them for crafting. I made this sign a while ago and it never sold in my booth. So I'm just going to give it a new look for summer. I painted it all with this beautiful Highland blue from Rust-Oleum, leaving the edges in the beautiful white for a distressed look. On the wood blank, I am going to take some caulk and just place it all over it, the surface. And then using a pen or whatever you have on hand, I made some wiggly lines and then let it dry. I'm going to give it one coat of Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the linen white. Let it dry and now it's going to have a beautiful texture. Using my Cricut, I created a stencil that says seize the day and I'm going to stencil it using different colors, white, blue and yellow. And I'm just going to stencil it to the left side of the sign. Once I had it in place, I am going to hot glue the seahorse right onto the right side. Doesn't this look gorgeous? I love this one. Item number 20 are these beautiful tissue paper you can find year round at Dollar Tree. Last year, I took several of these pink ones and I folded them and I cut off pieces about three inches wide. And then I cut them again to have about three by three squares. Give or take, it doesn't have to be exact. I'm gonna fold them into four and then I'm going to cut off the open side into a wiggly style. You can use a wiggly or straight, whatever you want. We're going to create a nice blossom tree. Once I had all of them cut, you can open them up and then I'm going to take a pencil and just put one and then another one right on top. And we're just going to just squish the bottom tightly so they don't come off. I'm going to do that over and over again. And I did some buds as well. So they look like some little buds have yet to open up. I just scrunched it up, tighten it up on the bottom and then just make sure they're nice and tight. Just like that. So cute. Then I took a branch from outside and then I'm just going to start hot gluing them onto each section. You can do as many or as little as you want. I decided to do them where either a branch was in or where two branches joined together. I think that just looked very natural. And then I'm just going to keep hot gluing them until I have all of them in place. I took this vase that I thrifted and updated. I'm going to add some bags inside to keep the branch straight. Look how gorgeous this is. <gasps> I love it. It's one of my favorites, but let me know which one is your favorite. And are you going to be searching for these items this summer? Let me know in the comments. I have another video here for you. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day and I'll see you later. Bye.